your social security disability file and the work history form that you've completed. Now, when you apply for social security disability benefits, the social security administration divides the material in your file into six different folders, which includes a folder called section E known as disability related development. Sounds innocuous, but there are some important forms in that section uh, that can impact your entitlement to social security disability benefits. And one of the most important forms in that part of the file is form SSA 3369, the work history form. Now, social security uses a five step sequential evaluation to determine your entitlement to benefits. And at step four and five, the issue is at four, can you go back to your past relevant uh, work the lightest and simplest job you did in the 15 years before you became disabled. And at step five, the issue is, can you do other work in the mythical, hypothetical, not real world in view of your age, education, and the skills you've learned in your past work and whatever your restrictions and limitations might be. Now, this work history form asks lots of questions and it asks you to describe all of the jobs that you've held in the past 15 years in terms of the physicality of your occupational duties. Interestingly, the form doesn't ask any questions about your cognitive responsibilities or what I call social behavioral duties. You need to interact with coworkers, supervisors, and the public. Now, you should not underestimate the nature of your job duties in terms of uh, your the physicality, the cognitive requirements, or the social duties of your job. And I think the best way to handle this form is to think backwards. Think of your disabling medical conditions and what would prevent you from performing the physical aspects of your work, the cognitive aspects of your work, and the social behavioral aspects of the work. Now, you will see that the form doesn't ask any questions, but there's a blank last page where you can talk about the cognitive issues and the social behavioral issues. Ultimately, if you end up in front of a judge, you're gonna be testifying about the nature of your employment. And if you say something completely different than what's on that form, that may make the judge question your credibility. You've got the burden to prove at step four that you can't go back to your past work. And having an experienced social security disability attorney who can help you fill out that work history form and address the physicality of your occupational duties, but then to use that last blank page to talk about the occupational duties from a cognitive standpoint or a behavioral standpoint is key. Ultimately, consistency is the way you get your social security disability benefits. It's one of the many reasons why you should have an experienced social security disability attorney help you in the social security disability claims process, including filing the application, filing a request for reconsideration if you've been denied, filing for a hearing, and getting you ready and attending that social security disability hearing. Don't go it alone, 727-894-3188.